Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead Candy Roth. I can't believe the other day, a day or two ago, I said, you know, kids, we're sitting in the, we're sitting in the living room. All of us happen to be in the same room, amazingly, for the first time ever. And I said, you know, school is 30 days away, children. And they all groaned like, oh, you know. Yeah, you got to ruin their mojo. That's I nice. know. But it's true. And we're still going back and forth. Uh, you know, we're going to send the kids for the two days in and the three days home. But I'll tell you this part of me that's like, you know, still debating, going back and forth on sending I the kids. I can understand it. I don't know what I would do. It's a very tough decision. You know, I've always been a believer uh, with this whole thing that if the if the rate of infection is low enough to open schools, then let's go for five days or at least four days if you want to have one day as a cleaning day or whatever. Let's at least get them out there and go to school or... I am completely fine with five days at home. I just don't see the value in two days of uh, all these precautions, which, by the way, let me just backtrack. If someone's just uh, listening to our show for the first time, I uh, am a a firm believer in the virus and everyone's got to wear the mask and be careful and, you know, that whole deal, social distancing. Uh, But I feel like if schools are safe enough to open, the two days in and the three days home doesn't do anything for me. I either need five days in school or five days home. Do you follow me, Candy? I guess I do. I don't know. I mean, if I don't know what I would do. I think I would start leaving them home. I, I just don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. It's very scary. Because my whole thing has been, you're going to get me in school for two days and open me up to the virus and you might as well put me in for five days then, or else just keep me home for five days. You know, so yeah, I don't I know. It's you. tough. It's, it's a mess. And it's it, hard on the teachers, too. Oh, you yeah, listen, this is not just about the parents, the teachers. And I think I heard that even if there's distance learning, the teachers may have to be at school doing the I understand yes. like it doubles like it almost doubles their work. It really. Right. Does. Right. So and now, of course, with the two days in three days home. Yeah, they have to be in school every day. So, um, uh, yeah. And now, did you see the Sturgis uh, motorcycle rally, Candy? I did. I've been hearing about it. I heard the Native Americans were going to block them. I don't know how that went. Probably not successfully, but 250,000 people, a lot of people on bikes, not wearing masks, having a gay old time. Not not only that, uh, the the band that is well past their prime, uh, Smash Mouth. Uh, were they just got caught yesterday or the day before doing a concert at Sturgis, and everyone's just you know in a mosh yeah. pit, and no then mask. they had some rave party in Prospect Park in Brooklyn yesterday, or maybe it was Sunday night. Um, yeah, a lot of people, like a thousand or more. It's uh, it's it's pretty insane. You know, if you watch the world news and you look at the uh, the rate of infection and everything, it's no secret. Uh, we we are the worst at this because it's like. Uh, the United States is two different countries. You have people that are doing the right thing and people who aren't doing the right thing, where most other countries, there is one person saying, you must stay home. You must wear a mask. This is the law here, Candy. It's like it's a almost like all. it's every man for himself. It's uh, it, it kind of is. It's kind of scary. Um, yeah. I don't know. I hope we don't spike again and then go take a giant step back. We'll see. We'll see where this is going to take us. Yeah, we will see. I mean, one of the things that we got out of this, which I am not opposed to, uh, whether it be your manicure place or whether it be Elijah's barber shop or the supermarket or whatever, all the plexiglass and the gloves and the masks and the things that are blocking us from getting germs, these things, even if coronavirus tomorrow oh, was yeah. gone, keep these them things right there. I love it. Keep them up. Keep them in. Keep, keep them up. up. Never take them down. I wholeheartedly agree. Keep the plexiglass up. Thank you very anyway, much. I'm getting a Manny Petty Friday. You are, aren't they you? They take that uh, right away from me. I'm going to hurt somebody. So you uh, I, I, you go in for the manicure, and there's a piece of glass in front of uh, you plexi, and the person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you go in. You got your little mask on, right? Yeah, and- the mask. You take your temperature. You sign a little waiver, and uh, I'm good to go. I'm going Friday. See, it's my te- third time since uh, they've reopened. The and salons. good for you. Yeah. Good for you. 
Mm-hmm. Um, the the temperature thing, I, I have an issue with the temperature thing because while that could find someone in the crowd who's got a fever and, oh, my God, you know, you got to get out of here. Um, m- m- you know, we, as we know, a lot of people are asymptomatic. Of a, you can have a perfect temperature and be walking around with coronavirus. Absolutely. Yeah. I am not a, a person that, that suffers from fevers very often. I can think maybe, you know, when I was younger, uh, but... Even with the flu last year, I don't think I even had a fever. Um, right. So, yeah, some people don't, you know, show that symptom. This is the thing. But what are you going to do? And then I just saw uh, a note on News 12. They were talking about cruise ships. Now, you know, we canceled the cruise this year. We have a rescheduled cruise for next year. And we may or may not be able to go. That's besides the point. But uh, it said Royal Caribbean talking about... Uh, making everyone who comes on any one of their ships get a coronavirus test and quarantine prior to sailing, Candy. So, I wholeheartedly agree. Yeah. I think before a lot of offices reopen, everyone should be tested. I really think everyone should be tested. Maybe every, you know, few months. Yeah. Uh, well, we may get to that point as uh, as things go into uh, 2022. Uh, I'm sorry, 2021. Yeah, I was going to say, you skipping the whole next year? Oh, (laughs) boy, oh, boy. In my mind, we're in 2021 already. We should be looking forward and preparing for what's to come in 2022 because uh, we're— You know, I had a friend who had a birthday yesterday, so I was uh, sending birthday greetings. And normally I say, you know, have a—I hope you have a healthy year. And I'm like, wait a minute, this year stunk. So I said, your birthday year. Like, I had to change the wording because, yeah, this year has been not so hot. I know my whole family FaceTimed with my sister yesterday for her birthday yesterday. Very nice. Uh, and, uh, you know, we had a nice little chat. Was she chat. baking herself a cake? She would, No, they were done with dinner. They were just hanging out. Um, and it was probably the longest I've ever been on FaceTime with her ever. I mean, I think we were on for like a half hour, maybe. It was wow. nice. Wow. We, we caught up. We, uh, you know, we had a, a little chat. We uh, talked about different things. And uh, so, nice. yes. Yes. Mom, we, Dad, they're all good. Everybody's in my love every day. Everybody's good. Yes, they are. I'm going to uh, get on that group text. I'm warning you. Uh, you come know, in through a back door. You're not even going to know. One day, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you my father's cell phone, and you're just randomly, without any warning, going to FaceTime him one day. Okay? Okay. Just take him by surprise, and then uh, you can have your little chat or whatever you want to do there. Okay? That's nice. Yes, I like that. <laughs> yeah. I Let's, do like that. Candy, have a great rest of your day. You too. Get off the couch. Get off the recliner. My Country 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.